Thank you, Mr. President. Colleagues, I rise today to bring attention to the rise in gun violence we are seeing in cities across America, including right here in Portland. This morning, I will stand in front of you to carry SCR 202 to honor Sa Sergeant Paul LaRuya Ramirez Sr. In the resolution, you will learn that Mr. Ramirez has over 70 descendants living in the Portland metro area. Colleagues, I'm filled with sorrow to share with you that one of Portland's latest victims of gun violence was his grandson. Jeff Ramirez was 35 years old when he was shot and killed on Wednesday of last week, the same day of his mother's birthday. The family was set to testify alongside me in the Senate Veterans and Emergency Preparedness Committee the next day, but they were in mourning and in shock. To say that Jeff was a victim in the wrong place at the wrong time simply is not true. He was merely driving his car during the middle of the afternoon to go celebrate with his mother when he was shot and killed. A medical assistant, an uncle, a brother, a cousin, he was greatly loved by his tight-knit Filipino-American family and friends. On Monday, in Richland, Washington, a man walked into a Fred Meyer after, shop, after a shopping altercation and opened fire, killing one person. Schools, movie theaters, churches, grocery stores, and even riding in our own cars or walking down the street have become unsafe spaces and traumatic loss. Lockdowns are traumatic to students, and no parent wants to get that alert of a school shooting. Everyone should have the right to live free from fear of gun violence and free from the fear of not knowing if they or their loved ones will make it home that evening if an act of gun violence occurs while they're going about doing their daily lives. Gun violence is a public health emergency. The answer to this issue is multifaceted. We need to continue to do the work to pass common sense gun legislation, mental health support, community intervention, investment in education and workforce. Thank you.